Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about why GP Houston was so bad. Now I did go visit for a tiny bit of time. I was going to sell my Falias and then I decided not to. And I know I missed the window. I know the maximal amount of money I would have received is at GP Houston. But I actually ended up most of the day just playing Pokemon Go in the city because I paid $10 for parking anyway. So, all right, why not enjoy the city for Pokemon Go? And that was a lot of fun. Now, GP Houston was not that much fun. So let me just give you some data. Houston, Texas is the fourth largest U.S. city with 20, let's call it 2.1 million people. The three cities that are larger are New York City, Los Angeles, and Chicago. So there are plenty of Magic players in, the, in a short five mile radius of, let's say, downtown Houston, maybe 10 mile radius, you are talking about a ton of stores. Just so many different stores that either carry magic or offer F&M. Every geek store carries magic. Even the anime stores all carry magic. The gathering cards. Magic is very popular in Houston. You can have very large events. The, so I, I live in a place called Humble. And Humble is kind of like, it's a much poorer place in Houston. Mainly because it's next to um, this other city called Atishota. And Atishota, which I'm butchering its name, I don't know how to pronounce it. I've been here for a while, but that is where the waste management, you know, waste management, there's green garbage trucks, right? So obviously that's not, at least I'm not living in a city with a garbage dump, but I'm living next to a city or next to, a, I don't know, a town or something next. So my favorite Chinese buffet, and yes, the stereotypical Chinese buffet that I take Austin, all my employees to go to, is right past this dump site. This dump site is driving probably 15, 20 minutes away from me. I can't really smell anything, but... Okay, anyway. So I live in Humble. In Humble, you had Battle Bunker, uh, you had Etten Games, you had DNA Comics, you had a, pretty much a place in a mall rotating, going out of business every six months that also offered magic. You had Swords and Superheroes in Kingwood and in Spring. You had um, a missing one. Anyway, this is a not a big this is not a big area. This is a suburb of I guess you could call it a suburb of Houston. There's a lot of magic players. When I first went to DNA Comics, when I first got here, the pre-release, I believe, was Gatecrash or RTR was my first pre-release here. And there was a turnout of 120 people registered to play, but probably over 150 people there. For just a, a pre-release, just a random place. Not in Houston and, you know, kind of a, uh, a suburb of Houston. So, wow. The fact that only 900 players showed up for GP Houston is very bad. Uh, in terms of population, in terms anime Missouri, let me let me find out anime Missouri, which is held at the same place. One of the years they were held together, and that was the best year. I think that was the last GP Houston because I could do both. I could you know go meet some people in the magic community, and then I could also go to the anime Missouri with the girlfriend, which um, she really likes that. Um, how many people anime Missouri? How many people? So again, this is a, an anime conference in the same place. How many tickets? Oh, it says controversy. How many people attended, I guess is the keyword that I'm looking for. All right, we click on the button. 36,000 something something. Uh, in 2017, 36,270 people attended. Wow. Uh, that is pretty good. I'm not going to lie. That was a lot more than I remember. Oh, I went in 2016. Duh. I didn't go in 2017. That's probably why. Maybe 2016 was less people. Regardless, oh, it's the second largest North American anime convention as of 2000. Okay, maybe. Okay, so maybe it's not a fair comparison. But regardless, there's a lot of people interested in the geek culture, interested in magic. The fact that 900 players <laughs> registered is very, very pathetic. You, I, a pre-release, at my pre-release in the middle of nowhere, next to, 
a garbage dump, you had 150 people. So you're saying you couldn't combine six similar size pre-releases together to get over 900, like that's what this was. It was six pre-releases. I don't think they're gonna give us another GPU stint, to be honest. Like, I mean, turnout is just very low. Now, controversy about, you know, the price. The price is $84.99, which is 85 bucks. And with parking, that's $95. Vendor spots are, I have heard, between five to $7,000 of vendor spot. They definitely didn't make their money back. Because if 900 people were there, now you do have side events. I understand you have cosplay, side events. But the main event, I mean, it's like poker, right? You talk about the main event. You don't talk about all the seven card stud event. I mean, it's nice that you have a ring or you have a bracelet, but the main event bracelet is where you want to, that's the one that you really want. So it's funny that they have to come up with these articles saying how awesome it is that 900 players came out in a city with the fourth largest city in the U.S. with 2.1 million people and an anime convention and held in the same conference convention site that has 26,000 people and 900 is supposedly like a really good number which I don't think it is I think they would just be better off not admitting how many people went they would just be like all right a lot of people went it was a good showing and then here's a picture you know 900 people I mean okay I'm gonna check up something the worst convention I've ever been to is called Onicon. Oh my gosh, Onicon in 2011. I think this convention bankrupt or something. In 2011, it had 7,000 people attend. Almost 10 times. And this was just the worst. Like, it was so poorly run that, like, it, it was just the, the worst. Um, and that one has more people in 2011, probably has way more now. Oh, what about the uh, fake convention that was uh, DASCON? Have you guys heard of this DASCON? It's when the Tumblr tried to have a convention. Um, and then they like fleeced all their young... So the, the Tumblr user, I guess, is under the age of like 17 most of the time. And they don't really know what's going on in life. So they just got hosed. Oh, okay, DASCON in 2014 had a attendance of a thousand people. The... Let me read you this convention. Um, let's see. Became infamous for allegations of mismanagement among organizers and an alleged abrupt demand by the hotel for upfront payment of cash to, for use of its facilities and, quote, celebrity guests being forced to drop out of the convention after they were informed by the hotel that they would be responsible for paying for their rooms. A small ball pit placed in one of the halls became a meme after organizers offer attendees along with raffle and concert tickets an extra hour in it as reimbursement for a canceled panel. Organizers of DASCON initially stated that they were going to hold a second DASCON in 2015 despite uh, the issues faced, blah, blah, blah. This DASCON is probably the worst convention I've ever heard about, like ever, and they were able to get a thousand people, paid a thousand paying customers. So, 900 people in the fourth largest city in the United States with 2.1 million people. And I would guess that out of the 2.51 million people, according to Hasbro's internal data, at least 50,000 Magic players, 20,000 Magic players casually or something. I mean, if you don't want to play a main event, I mean, I guess you can do side events and stuff. I got, went there. It seemed pretty dead to me. And I just left. I was like, oh, okay, I'm not going to do this. I don't have many free days. I'm currently, as I probably mentioned before, I'm currently in a buyout of my company. And a buyout of the company, that's not fun for anyone. It's actually very stressful for me because I'm buying back the company shares. So there's a lot of loans and banks, and invest, new investors, old investors. And I was like, all right, I have a free day to spend with my girlfriend at the time. I am not going to go, I'm not going to do this. No. And I just left <laughs> to play Pokemon Go for the day, eat at a really nice uh, restaurant, which was good, and enjoy my day. 900 people is nothing in the city of Houston for a Magic tournament. It is just peanuts. 
and for this to be a GP and for this not to happen like so it's been two years since the last one and so there should be pent up demand for it but no one cares these events channel fireball I'm pretty sure they lost money on this event even at $85 uh, uh, register anyway bye guys